हेलो एवरी वन आई एम जगदीश पटेल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर संदीप फाउंडेशन नासिक द नेम ऑफ सब्जेक्ट इज ब्रॉडबैंड कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम दिस वन इज यूनिट सिक्स सैटेलाइट कम्युनिकेशन लिंक डिजाइन लेक्चर नंबर टू इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू सी अपलिंक एंड डाउन लिंक डिजाइन सैटेलाइट अपलिंक एंड डाउन लिंक सो डाउन लिंक द लिंक फ्रॉम अ सैटेलाइट डाउन टू वन और मोर ग्राउंड स्टेशन और रिसीवर अपलिंक मीन्स द लिंक फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड स्टेशन up to a satellite some companies sells uplink and downlink services to television station corporations and other and to other telecommunication carriers a company can specialize in providing uplink downlink or both so if you observe in the diagram here satellite transponder is on the top here uplink station where the dish is used to provide the signals to a satellite and on the another side there is downlink station the signal from the satellite transponder is receiving and the dish is receiving the signal to provide the different users satellite communication in satellite communication when using a satellite for long distance communication the satellite act as a repeater and earth station transmit the signal up to the satellite uplink when in turns retransmit it to the receiving satellite that is downlink different frequencies are used for uplink and downlink so as stated in the last previous slide it is same as that of manner, uh, it is same in the same manner here the signal is transmitted from the ground station to the satellite in uplink fashion and from satellite to the ground station in downlink fashion satellite transmission link earth station communicate by sending signals to the satellite on an uplink the satellite then re repeats those signal on a downlink the broadcast nature of the downlink ma makes it attractive for services such as distribution of tv programs direct to user services one way services which are provided from antennas to a satellite and two way services which are provided from antenna to the satellite and satellite to the antenna one way services are used for broadcasting and two way services are used for communication satellite signals uses to transmit signals and data over a long distance weather forecasting television broadcasting internet communication global positioning system gps satellite transmission bands there are different frequency bands their downlink and uplink frequency are mentioned in front of them c 3700 to 4200 megahertz downlink and 5925 to 6425 megahertz uplink ku 11.7 to 12.2 gigahertz downlink and 14.0 to 14.5 gigahertz uplink k 17.7 to 21.2 gigahertz downlink and 27.5 to 31.0 gigahertz uplink the c band is the most fre frequently used the k and ku bands are reserved extensively for satellite communication but are subjected to ren attenuation fama and tdma operations transmission in the form of respective sequence of frames each frame is divided into number of time slots each slot is dedicated to a particular transmitter each station takes turns using uplink channel send data send data in assigned time slot satellite repeater repeats incoming transmission broadcast to all stations station must know which slot to use for transmission and which use for the reception FAMA and TDMA, uplink and downlink. So this one is uplink from station one, station two, and station three, and receiving in the same fashion. Frequency band allocated to FSS. Frequency band are allocated to different services at World Radio Communication Conferences. Allocation are set out. in article s5 of the itu radio regulations it is important to note that with a few exceptions 
bands are generally located to more than one radio services constraint band have traditional been divided into commercial or government military bands although this is not reflected in the radio regulation and is becoming less clear cut as commercial operation move to utilize government bands earth atmosphere here these are these are tropologies where troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere and exosphere are used for different applications at different kilometers from the earth surface so satellite are falls in the category of exosphere which is at the highest end from the earth surface so in from this diagram it is come to know that where exactly the parachute can jump the air commercial air, aircraft can be fly over the military aircraft can be fly over spacecraft can be fly over and satellite can be fly over atmospheric losses different types of atmospheric losses can disturb the radio wave transmission in satellite system atmospheric absorption atmospheric attenuation traveling and ionospheric disturbances atmospheric absorption energy absorption by atmospheric gases which varies with frequency of the radio waves two absorption peaks are observed for 90 degree evolution angle 22.3 gigahertz from so from resonance absorption in water vapor 60 gigahertz from resonance absorption in oxygen for other evolution angles as shown atmospheric attenuation rain is the main cause of atmospheric attenuation hail ice and snow have little effect on attenuation because of their low water content total attenuation from rain can be determined by a is equal to alpha l in db where alpha db per kilometer is called as specific attenuation and can be calculated from specific attenuation coefficient in tabular form that can be found in the number of publications where l in kilometer is the effective path length of the signal through the rain note that this differs from geometric path length due to fluctuation in the rain density traveling ionospheric disturbances traveling ionospheric disturbances are cloud of electrons in the ionosphere that provoke radio signals fluctuation which can only be determined on a statistical basis the disturbances of major concern are scintillation polarization rotation scintillations are the vibration in the amplitude phase polarization or angle of arrival of radio waves caused by irregularities in the ionosphere which covers over a time the main effect of scintillation is fading of signals what is polarization polarization is a property of electromagnetic waves that describe the direction of transverse electric field since electromagnetic waves consist of an electric and a magnetic field vibrating at right angles to each others it is necessary to adopt a convenient to determine the polarization of a signal conventionally the magnetic field is ignored and the plane of electric field is used types of polarization linear polarization circular polarization and elliptical polarization Lin linear polarization is horizontal or vertical the two orthogonal components of electric field are in phase the direction of the line in the plane depends on relative amplitude of the two components circular polarization the two components are exactly 90 degree out of phase and have exactly the same amplitude elliptical polarization all other cases so here we have seen the different components and polarization of the wave different losses and the height of the satellite at which it is flowing thank you